Good evening, everyone. I'm Jasmine Veal, and we want to get you up to date here on the stories we are working on for you tonight. This is CBSLA.com's The Rundown. Special counsel Robert Mueller has finally submitted his report and will not recommend any further indictments in the Russia probe. Now it's in the hands of Attorney General William Barr, who will decide how much of this report to actually release to the public. Mueller was hired to investigate potential collusion between Russia and the 2016 Trump campaign. President Trump has repeatedly denied that he received any help from the Russians. The search continues for a man who raped a woman in the East Hollywood Metro station. Police say the 60 year old victim asked the attacker for directions. Then police are saying he dragged her through an emergency door into a stairwell where he punched, strangled and assaulted her. Riders we spoke to are concerned that the emergency doors alarm didn't go off. Police say the suspect is also a known regular there at the Compton Metro station. CVS is getting in on the CBD craze. The drugstore giant says it's going to sell these topical products infused with CBD in eight states, including here in California. Now, CBD is the non psychoactive ingredient in cannabis. It has to be hemp derived and it can help relieve pain for arthritis and other ailments. Expect to see the CBD cream sprays, roll ons, lotions and salves at all these CVS stores. And the uh, store CEO is saying that it's selling the products because customers are asking for them. UC Irvine students are in a frenzy as their men's basketball team advances in the NCAA tournament. The 13 seed Anteaters upset Kansas State 70 to 64 in the school's first ever March Madness win. UCI is the only California team still remaining in the men's NCAA tournament, by the way. You have UCLA, Cal, uh, Stan Stanford, UC Davis. They are still in the women's tournament. We're rooting for all of you California teams. All right, Alex. Uh, the anteaters. We were doing this earlier. What? It, yeah. Uh, UCI, I, right? And they doing say it? they say zot zot. I think Aww. I didn't go there, but <laughs> I've been hearing. We're gonna become fans. <laughs> we're gonna become fans. We're gonna learn it. I love it. Uh, heading into this weekend, though, uh, we are looking at a high surf along uh, all of our local beaches. So surf of up to eight feet. It's gonna be highest on west facing beaches. This will go in effect as we head towards Saturday and will be in effect through Sunday night. So just something to keep in mind if you are headed out to the beaches this weekend. So bringing you through the future cast on Saturday. Well, we have a storm system well up to the north, but a few showers could drag down here, especially for the Ventura County and Los Angeles County mountains. They will be very light in nature. Most of us will be under partly cloudy skies heading into Saturday and clearer skies heading into Sunday. That's all because of high pressure. That's going to be the main weather staple uh, as we head into the beginning of next week, but an area of low pressure could be bringing us some rain as we go into next Wednesday. So here's kind of how this looks on our seven day forecast. Well, we're going to be seeing warmer temperatures, clear skies through Sunday, Monday, and then that storm system comes down to the Southland as we head towards Wednesday. Back to you. Beautiful weekend ahead though. And be aware you guys, if you are headed to see that super bloom near Lake Elsinore, there are now all these restrictions in place. So heads up, join us on CBS 2 News at 11 for the very latest on your weather forecast and all of our top stories. And this has been CBSLA.com's The Rundown. For Alex Biston and I, I'm Jasmine Beal. Have a great evening.